are back with another episode of TikTok Tested. We are trying everything on our For You page. This is the best thing I think I've put on my body in a very long time. Y'all are gonna scream. I threw out my pants! <laughs> Look at your energy right now. Give me all of them. Hey guys, welcome to Clever Style. Yeah. And welcome back to another episode of one of my favorites, TikTok Tested. Our For You pages are filled with lots of TikTokers pushing the things that they swear by. And so we've convinced our friends here at Clever to buy all of that for us from our For You pages. So we can test it out and actually give you the real tea on if it's good or not. And yeah. then at the end, we're gonna rate all of our outfits on a scale of one to 10 to let you guys know if you should buy it or not. And don't forget to follow Clever Style on TikTok because we got some fire content. Sierra is here with us. And this is her first TikTok tested. I'm nervous, my For You page is Wild. <laughs> well, we are about to test it right here. I know a lot of people say they get a lot of ads, but like I literally get so many ads. So that's what I'm gonna be pulling from today. Ooh. Well, I'm glad that you have so many to choose from because you're first. You're Ooh. taking it off. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, I have two items here. Like I said, these were both ads. I literally am from Texas and live in California, so my need for this coat is, I don't know, but it's kind of giving me something. <laughs> I'm experiencing something. This coat is the first one, obviously, and then underneath. Ooh! Ooh! Hey, uh, yo! I am so, I'm like, stop looking, stop looking. We have this little onesie lingerie set moment. I kind of am here for it. It's like. You don't know what's underneath, and then bam! Okay, I'm wait, here. we need to unbutton this last one, because yeah, you look do so it, you do it. it. Wait, y'all are gonna scream? Why? Oh, I know. I my pants! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I this coat, I'm really here for it. It's from the brand The Commence. It's like $80, it comes in two different colors. What are we thinking? Like, I kind of did something. My ads did it. Thank I love you. this coat. I think this coat is so freaking cute. I have something very similar, actually, and it's a great, like, throw-on for me. If I'm gonna wear shorts, I do need a longer coat. I know it mm -hmm. seems silly, but, like, I want to feel like I have the option to bundle up, mm -hmm. but also, like, Let's give it to him, you know what I mean? I think this is fun. I don't typically wear like lingerie type things out. I just feel like a little bit similarly to you, like a little too shy about it. But this isn't out. This no, is we're, fun. We're at work. This, this is, is workwear. Work. Yeah. We're workwear when people hate on us for what we wear to work and our work outfits. You're wearing that. Are you wearing that? Yeah. I don't know if I would pair them together just out of pure, unless it was like a sexy moment. I feel like this is something I'd wear in the bedroom and like not anywhere in public. Absolutely. <laughs> but, Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I love the coat. Super good quality. I'm really picky about coats because they're really expensive yeah. and I don't want to pay $80 for something that isn't worth it. It's so soft it and is. buttery. The only thing that I don't like, and I always have this issue because I have lanky arms the and sleeves. it's too short. Yeah. It's almost shorter on you too. I like don't hate. I think I'm just no, so used to things being short on me. I like I just we're all very tall girl, girl, tall tall girl, girl probs. Yeah, this yeah. stream on Netflix. Longer. I also love this color on you with your hair and mm -hmm. your skin. Yeah, down, yeah. Do you want me to? Do you want me? Yes, I want it. Yes, I want it. Yes, I want it. That's what I love. You guys, I would like you to be in my bedroom with me. Yes. <laughs> Maybe holding my tongue right now is the best remedy. I would wear these separately. I actually want to wear them separately. Um, and my husband's gonna like it, I think. What if I just like walked in? I was like, honey, I'm not home for a long day at work. He's gonna be like, um, you did not leave the house with that on. Where have you been? I think you should absolutely do that. And his his lawyer ass gonna be like, I don't object. <laughs> The only thing about this bodysuit I don't like, because it's not a bodysuit, it's lingerie. It's meant to be taken off from the top down. It does not have a snap. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, I like in bodysuits because I just, you know, you have to go to the bathroom. But you're not going to the bathroom in this. You're getting naked in this. Sure. So it makes sense. So you kind of have to know what you're getting when you buy this. I am gonna rate these together. Please know that I am not a coat expert. Like I said, I'm used to the heat and I'm also not a lingerie expert. So I'm gonna give both a 10. I love them. Right. They're opening my mind to a new world right yeah. now. Good. Yeah. Uh, I also am gonna give both of these a 10. I hate lingerie because it's always really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. This is so soft and buttery. Yeah. And so is this coat. I love, y'all, I love butter. Walk away and forget about it. 
I'm not obsessed with purple, however, I would like this in all black. I like mm -hmm. the stretchy straps of the lingerie. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a nine. Um, and then for the coat, I'm gonna give the coat a nine. I think it's almost there. I want a longer sleeve, but I am overall happy. Very happy. <laughs> I'm next. Aaron's next. Yay! So for my for you page, this video popped up. It's from Keeping Up With Caters and she was doing a roundup of all of her favorite Aritzia items. I am an Aritzia virgin. I've never shopped at Aritzia. I've never purchased anything there. So when I saw her showing all of her favorites, I was like, okay, this is my moment to try some of these items because y'all, these are pricey and they, they're basic. So I was like, is it worth it? I'm not sure. So this is the perfect opportunity to show off both of these items. The top is the ribbed tank and these bottoms are the Farrah high rise jean. And I think it looks cute. I'm glad that you chose these pieces. I'm happy with them. You are? Yeah. I am a basic queen. I love a, a staple tank. I love yeah. a great pair of jeans. These do feel like an elevated jean because mm -hmm. they're like, we were all saying we're all tall. so. They have a specific length on them that is meant to look short, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like above, like where does, mine is way above my ankle. It's kind of like almost mid calf. The length is like not really doing it for me and I want to size up, but I love like, I love this fit. Sure. Yeah. Like I rarely actually get this fit and like something gets over my thighs and a jean, but it is a little tight. Like I do want like a more of like a looser type of fit. So I'm, I'm kind of struggling with this one a little bit, but I love the tank. I'm obsessed with the same top and I love the color variety. Yes. What I like about it is it's really soft. Yeah. Yeah. And I I I do wonder if you could just DIY this with like a Hanes mm. tank from Walmart. I've done that too though, but I do also feel like there is something nice about just investing in a quality tank top that like you don't have to do all that with. You know I'm the queen of cropping things mm -hmm. and like cutting things in half like myself, but I am really enjoying this. It's it's cut but almost feels a little bit hemmed but not too much. Mm -hmm. And I did, like you said, I loved the color variety that they mm -hmm. had at Aritzia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love these together. I yeah. love them together. Well, I, yeah, this is super thin material and I feel like it's gonna last a while, which yeah. I'm really into. I'm here for that. I will say that um, the jeans, I did go up a size mm -hmm. just in case and I'm glad that I did because these jeans run a little bit small in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I also don't like the fact that they're buttoned. The buttons were really stiff. They so were stiff. Yeah. they were hard to get on. I've also sized up in these and they are loose but not by too much. So yeah. if that's an any indicator. But yeah, the buttons were really stiff, but I don't mind them. I'm about to rain this tank top, everybody. Buckle up. Buckle up, baby. Are you kidding me? so hard because it's my first time ranking Ritzy and I do like it, but I don't know if the tank top is worth $25. I love it. It's cute, lots of colors, it's soft. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 just because the price is still a little too high. I totally feel like I could buy this from Forever or H&M and get like the same thing for half the price. Fair enough. This is my favorite cut of a tank top. I don't know why. It's like, it doesn't show too much, but it's like kind of yeah. like revealing. Like I'm really here for this cut in general, mm -hmm. but like an extra $10 and then like you don't have to buy another one for like a couple of years or like ever is kind of enticing. It, it's worth it to me. I think I would say an eight though. I would say an eight, Like that's still really good. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for the tank, y'all. I totally, it's a valid point about the price, but like you were saying, Sierra, I've also bought so many that I would wear, but I just don't like this, or it's just almost there, but I don't like that it shows this, or I can't wear it without a bra, or whatever it may be. I'm not wearing a bra, it's probably obvious, but I feel com comfortable in it, and I don't mind it, and I like this color, I think it's fun. And if this color was done cheaply, I could see it also looking really tacky. So, 10 out of 10 for me on the tank. For the jeans, I'm going to give them an eight out of 10 because if you do like this style, if you like the shorter length, I actually think these are really good jeans. They're super thick and they're not stretchy. They're gonna last a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I have to dock it at least one point because of the buttons. But other than that, I love these. I think they're super comfortable and a great investment. I think I'm gonna do 
like a six or seven. Oh. Oh, baby, it's only because I love the leather pants at Aritzia. I also have like some dresses that I love. Like I've had good experiences with bottoms there. I haven't really figured out the jean thing at Aritzia yet. So that's why it's gonna be a little bit lower. I'll say a seven. If your goal is to get a cropped jean, I would say these are 10 out of 10. I think they're really good quality and they're really stylish. And I think the fit is nice. I'm personally not a cropped jean girly. So overall, I'll give them a seven out of 10. But I think if you like a cropped, 10 out of 10. This is my For You page. I do feel like it might be shocking because we are giving nine to five workaholic energy just from these two together, but let me break it down for you why it makes sense for me. So the pants we'll start with are the Jerf Avenue. Matilda Jerf, Jerf um, is a really popular influencer. She's gone viral for her hair, her cute outfits, her face, she's adorable, and she has her own fashion line called Jerf Avenue. And they're very like sophisticated pieces. So the work pants, these are called her like favorite gray pants, and she's known for the oversized blazer and the oversized work pant. So I do like these pants. How do you guys feel? The, um, <laughs> the pause it's said it all. It's giving me like Miss Congeniality pre like makeover. You oh know what I mean? no, like, the pre makeover. <laughs> <laughs> the length is not there. Like the hip situation is not working. It's scrunching in the front. But I will say it is a really comfy material. I don't even see if I were to size up or to size down for this, for me to like rock with this. It's just like not really the vibe. But I get the vision yeah. and I like that. Just this isn't the pant that executes it for my body. I feel like I'm getting ready to go on my first job interview <laughs> and I ran into Express with my mom because totally. that's where you get business clothes and I bought the only pair that was in my size, although they're not long enough for me. Um, but we all like around five, eight ish. So I think there is a little hem. So if you are taller, there is a little bit that you can let out, but who does that these this days? This is surprising. We're all very tall and yet they're fitting really well lengthwise on me. Yeah. yeah. I like the medium for me. They are giving a little oversized, so it feels more casual, which is what I want. I don't want it to feel too pantsuit. Mm -hmm. So maybe size up in this if you want something to be more casual. It's hard because like I have a little bit of extra space here. I'm just like, I don't want to size up, but I feel like that would make it better here. But yeah, I still I think that. this would be a little too tight. Like, ugh, I right. agree with Sierra. I think this is a pant for someone. It's just not the pant for me, even though I'm jealous because I do like the idea mm -hmm. of them. So before we rate the pants, we're gonna move up top. This is the Skims Jersey Cotton T-shirt for $48, and it was inspired by Greta Rolly, who came up on my For You page. It accentuated her chest like in the best way possible. Yeah. For being a tight fitted t-shirt, sometimes that's like, I think the hottest thing ever is if I'm like not wearing cleavage showing, not trying too hard, but you just have this killer frame. Like it's, it's accentuating her so well because it hugs you mm -hmm. in this way. I have since been a Skims Convert and I've bought some of their other style of t-shirts. And it does, it does hug the chest and give me like hot girl chest. Yeah, I don't have a bra on and I feel very supported and very comfortable. I love this, I sized up and I still feel like it's like slightly tight, but I think it's the style of this mm -hmm. shirt. Yeah. But it is really soft, super comfortable. At first I was like, it could be thinner, you know? But now that I've been wearing it for a little bit, it's kind of warmed up to my body, I'm, I feel hugged. I feel like I'm wearing a giant like bear hug mm. and it, I just feel emotionally supported in this. For a basic like cotton tee, this makes me really excited to try the Fits Everybody tee, I yeah. think. I love this. I think I would want a different color. Okay. This material is not usually like my go-to, but it is really comfortable for like a cotton vibe. I actually would size down in this one just because I want it to hug me even more and yeah. I do feel confident in this tee. How would you rate it? Okay, if we're gonna rate these these puppies, I'm gonna rate them separately because I don't wanna wear them together. The pants, if I'm wearing them with a cute little crop top moment, I am gonna give the pants a seven out of 10. I think there is a lot of potential and I wanna play around with styling. The top, I'm going to give an eight out of 10 because it's almost there. Almost. For these bottoms, I have to give them a five out of 10. I just think for the price that you pay for the fit, this feels like a very basic pant that you can get for way cheaper. Oh, 
I'm sorry. No, I'm with her. I was gonna say five out of 10 as well. I just, whether it's Topshop, Zara, I feel like there's so many other places where you can get a very similar pant that just has a little bit, I don't know, I need the length. Like I want like a long option. Like just, I need a little bit of variety here. Um, so yeah, five for the pants. Okay, now for the top, I'm gonna give my top, let's see, I'm gonna wear this probably in my next life with like a mini skirt. I'll give the top an eight out of 10. I think it's almost there. I'm almost obsessed with it. I just wanna style it and make it a little cuter and wear it without a bra. I think I'm gonna give it a eight out of 10 as well, only because I don't, still don't love how tight it goes up so far in my armpits. <laughs> like I think it's almost up to my brain. It's <laughs> so tight in here, but it is soft, it is comfortable. I think I'm gonna give this an eight as well. Honestly, if I would've gotten this in black, I think mm. I would've given it like a nine. Okay. I'm trying to look past it, but it's super comfy. I love just like a basic tee with a short, throw a jacket over it. I don't know, like this is kind of my vibe. This is my energy, so I'm here for it. Our For You pages are over, but there is one final round on TikTok Tested. That is the bonus round where we don't really know what is coming, and neither do you. We like to call this the viral round. <laughs> exactly how I would describe this round, you guys. This is a viral wild car round. We had no idea what we were walking into today, but I have to say we are flabbergasted, <laughs> speechless at the thought and the sight of what's going on right here. So Sammy Rose on TikTok were perping out these really cute pajama sets. Uh, she was like, they're $175, which gives you pause, because that's a lot of money. So these are from Cozy Earth. They're the long sleeve stretch bamboo pajamas. But she kept talking about how great they were, how much she loved them, how she's had them for over a year, and she can't say enough good things about them, so we had to try them. And here we are in them right now. And I have to say, if you guys want these, run to the description box right now. They're on sale for $140. They come in five colors. I know it is a big investment, but please know, this is the best thing I think I've put on my body in a very long time. Yeah. I haven't tried on anything this cozy and this amazing. It's like, the material is like buttery. I want to sleep in this, but it's yeah. also long sleeve, so you think you would be hot in it, but like it's just cooling. Like, oh, it's giving, it's giving. No, it's these giving. are so nice. Like this isn't something you're obviously wearing out on the town. So I would say, yeah, okay, you could get a dupe of that. No, you don't dupe this, because the feeling of it is Unmatched. unmatched also because we're all a bunch of tall girls they have a regular version and a tall version like that sets you up already as superior because I always go the tall route mm -hmm. because I don't want them short and weird I want them tall and cute yeah, yeah. And they just have like this band yeah. is just right above the hip. It's super cozy and comforting. And usually I feel like with pajamas, I'm a pajama like robe girl. Like yeah. I, that's my experience. But whenever I don't get the length in the pajama pants, I end up kind of having a low rise situation. But then like, <laughs> I feel like exposed and just like I'm flopping everywhere. So this is it. This is it. This is it. it. This is it. it. And it has pockets. Come on. Oh. You don't have no baggage with these mother pockets. All right, shout out to Diana from Dallas, who obviously similar to us, she did a TikTok made me buy it TikTok and LOL, cause like that's my personality trait too. We got our hands on these ultra minis from UGG and this was the only color we could get our hands on because the chestnut one, which is like the most viral, doesn't even ship until August. I'm happy for UGG. They are having the biggest resurgence ever. They were kind of the left in the 2000s with their high length, but then modernized. All they did was cut it in half, have give you less material, and we can't get out. We can't get enough. Look at your energy right now. It's just so wild. You They're need like, a partnership. Give me all of that. They're a great practical shoe. They're a great yeah. slip on. They're cozy. They're a mix between a slipper and a shoe. They're a slew. But I have like a higher, like the really tall Uggs, and then I have like two of the little house slippers. I had never thought about getting this length, and I've definitely seen it everywhere, but now I have them on, it's just, it's like freeing, yeah. but like your foot is warm, but it's not like restricting. I don't yeah. know how to explain it, but I love these. Really? I love these. Yeah, it's it's giving me like going to the mailbox to get my Amazon delivery before my husband's Amazon <laughs> delivery vibes. Do you know what and I mean? And the paparazzi's not watching, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to fairly rank the pajamas because I really want to give them a 20 out of 10. I know that's not in the scale, but editor, make it happen. 20 out of 10, if you have budget to buy these, it is so worth it. Agreed, agreed as heck, 10 out of 10. 
I love these so much. I think they'd be a really nice gift if you've like a significant other, or like it's just a classy PJM oh, and I love. Perfect for like Valentine's Day. Mm. Yeah. No, this is absolutely a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I love a good pajama moment and it's good to invest. You know it's not gonna pell, it's not gonna get gross. It's just, it's perfect. I other people it. invest in Tesla stock, I invest in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rating the Uggs. Gotta give these a 10 out of 10. I love these little suckers. I just do. They're so cute and ultra mini and they do just make me feel polished and clean. I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10. I, I think they're great. I see the appeal, but they are pricey also. So sure. eight out of 10 for me. I think I'm gonna do 10 out of 10. Yes. I like, I literally wish I had these and not the other pairs that I have at home. These are, I can't believe I haven't like accepted that these are trending right now. These are it, they're the moment. Everyone needs them, they're amazing, and 10 out of 10. This was incredible. This TikTok tested might go down in the books. It's one of the best ones yet. One of the best. One of us. I love it here. I, I love it here too. I loved our For You pages. I loved your for, for You page. There was a lot going on there, but we made it through. We yeah, made it through. None of you guys liked my For You page, haters. <laughs> it's okay. Haters, There's something whatever. for everyone here Yours on the was show. like pushing the limits, the boundaries. We like that. Push all the boundaries. 